Now, let's start with the story of the spiker. We find the story in the middle, right? Now, it says the rider travels 160 kilometers westwards against the wind, okay? In a time of two hours, the rider immediately turns around and rides back to the starting point in a time of 1.67 hours, this time with the wind, Okay, so we know that we've got a wind in this story, right? So firstly, um, let's try and draw our compass points. So we know we've got north over there, we've got west, we've got east, as well as south. Okay, right. Now, what we're going to do is just draw a displacement or in this case, a vector diagram right, to show us. Uh, so this is the displacement of the vector of the rider. So let's say this is from A till B, right? That's 160 kilometers. And we know that he did this in two hours, right? So then they tell us that he turns around and he rides back to the starting point. Again, riding a distance of 160 kilometers this time it does this in 1.67 hours all right so now we want to find out and uh, they say write down the total displacement for the entire journey so remember the rider started from a to b and he rode back uh, to position a right so we can call it position c so a and c are exactly the same point so what would be the displacement in this case now remember that whenever we calculate displacement okay we said it's a straight line change in position from the beginning to the end point so he started at a he ended up at a so therefore the displacement would be zero meters but of course if you wanted to calculate it uh, more, uh, you know, comprehensively. So we could have said, well, that's the displacement from A till B plus the displacement from B to C, right? So in this case, it simply means that we're going to have 160 considering West as our positive direction, right? So that would be 160 plus a minus 160 because he was moving in the eastern direction so that would be zero meters so our displacement is zero so remember whenever you start from a certain position and end up at the same position we've got a displacement of zero of course we did touch on that a little earlier right so they said to us calculate the average speed of the biker for the entire journey right in kilometers per hour now remember uh, speed in this case would be the change in, um, you know, the distance rather, uh, total distance divided by the total time. So when we now take the speed, we're going to say, well, our speed would be the distance divided by the time, okay? So now, if we take the distance, we know that he traveled a total distance of 160 plus another 160. Remember, when we talk about distance, uh, distance, we do not regard direction, but the total travel path length. So in this case, it would be 180 plus 180, uh, 160 rather, not 180, 160 plus another 160. And now what would be the total time that he traveled? Well, it would be the two hours plus the 1.67. So it would be two plus 1.67. And notice this time we used kilometers for distance. We used hours for time. So in this case, uh, let's just find that. Um, so it is 160 plus that 160. Of course, that's going to give us a 320. And that would divide by, um, that is 2 plus 1.67. And so that gives us 87.19, right? Now note, it would be in kilometers per hour. Remember that we are dividing by hours. So we should see that negative one there, 
right so that is the speed of the biker right for the entire duration of the travel right now let's go on to the next question right now they say the wind blows at a constant speed of eight kilometers per hour eastwards so we've got a wind okay i'm going to just show this okay we've got a wind and our wind is traveling at eight kilometers per hour okay let me just get rid of this right eight kilometers per hour and they said eastwards so meaning when he was traveling from a to b the wind was uh, working against him you remember they said this right in our uh, statement they said uh the way is it they said the rider immediately turns around okay um oh yes they said westwards against a wind against the wind right so initially he was actually traveling against the wind but then when he turned around he was traveling with the wind okay so that tells us that the wind was still maintained its direction but he changed directions right now the question is calculate the magnitude of the actual velocity of the mag uh, of the motorbike in kilometers per hour that is in other words uh, if there is no wind now i want you to please note ladies and gents so let's take the scenario of our wind all right now if we take um when he was traveling against the wind right we'd need to find out what is the speed okay the um the relative speed in this case okay so now we know that um or rather let's say the velocity so the relative velocity when is moving um westwards so we know we've got the relative velocity or can we call it uh, the velocity uh, of the bike right so the average velocity or in this case what we call the actual velocity right will be e uh, equal to uh, the velocity of the bike right or in this case we can say uh, the average velocity plus the velocity of the bike itself right so now i want you guys to please note we're going to say right so the total velocity or the velocity the average velocity okay um, i'm looking for a word that i can use there so the average velocity will be equal to the actual velocity of the bike plus the velocity of the wind okay now what do we get as our average velocity for the bike so we need to find that out right we know we traveled a velocity uh, a distance rather a displacement right going to the westerly direction we traveled it so this is going to be change in displacement divided by change in time so this would be 160 divided by two hours you remember when we're traveling west we took two hours so in this case it means that the velocity the average velocity would have been 160 divided by two that would give us 80 kilometers per hour okay now the average velocity of the bike would be 80 kilometers per hour right and i'm going to take west as positive right so 80 kilometers per hour but i want the actual velocity of the bike right and the velocity of the wind was in the westerly direction and we know it's at eight kilometers per hour so this would be minus eight so meaning that the actual velocity of the bike should be equal to right if i take that to the other side that becomes 88 kilometers per hour right so this would be the 
um, velocity, the actual velocity of the bike when it's moving, in this case, against the wind. But of course, we can also do this for when uh, the biker is now traveling, right, to the east. So we know what would be our average velocity there. So we know he's still traveling. Okay, that's change in displacement or change in position over change in time. So we know that the biker still travels 160 kilometers, but this time in 1.67 hours so we can find that 160 divided by 1.67 and that gives us 95.81 kilometers per hour okay right now we're going to say well the velocity the average velocity is equal to the velocity of the bike once again plus the velocity of the wind. So our average velocity, we know this was 95.81. We want the actual velocity of the bike, but, oh, by the way, by the way, it's going to the west, uh, to the east rather. So this should be negative now, because remember we said west is positive, right? And the wind was also traveling west so that's minus eight kilometers per hour so which means now the actual velocity of the bike if i take that to the uh, other side it still becomes positive so now we've got negative 80 um so that's 87 right 0.81 kilometers per hour uh, I almost said kilometers per second kilometers per hour but remember what does the negative actually imply it means that it is 87.81 kilometers per hour in the easterly direction so that's east all right and and that is really how the cookie crumbles. That is how we get the actual velocity of the bike. I hope that you understood this, ladies and gents. We will look at this section again when we look at our question papers. But otherwise, I will leave it there. I will see you guys again next time. Please don't forget to subscribe and to like. And please, if you need assistance with maths and science, you're more than welcome to also get in touch with us. And all the details that you need will be on the description of this video. And you can also just go on to our uh, website, which is www.mlungesinkosi.co.za. I'll see you guys next time. Shop shop.